Hi folks, Shehzadi here, your friendly neighborhood registered dietitian. Welcome back to my channel, Desi Licious Den Dietitian on Demand, where I share diet and wellness advice that cuts through the nutritional noise and serve up healthy Desi Licious recipes so you can be on top of your game. I hope and pray that all of you are keeping well and practicing social distancing. Now, in the middle of the COVID-19 crisis, food shopping and groceries are a valid concern. From the minute we step out of our cars to entering a supermarket, we come in contact with numerous surfaces. These can include doors, shopping trolleys, food counters and so on. I'm sure this has sparked apprehension regarding food hygiene and safety in a number of you. Do you need to disinfect groceries? Is it okay to use reusable bags? Could you catch the virus from food? In this video, we're going to tackle all your questions and address your concerns around how to grocery shop safely during the pandemic. So let's dive in and separate the myths from facts. Question one. Is it safe to go to the grocery store right now? now? I completely understand the uneasiness that grocery shopping might bring in light of the current situation. Yes, it is true that shopping carts, baskets and food packaging do carry a certain level of risk. However, the amount of virus on the actual surface and how much we're exposed to plays a big part. The virus is viable for different lengths of time on different surfaces. Therefore, it is essential to use disinfecting wipes to clean high-touch surfaces of the shopping cart or basket. And remember to discard those wipes immediately after use. Our second question. Should I wear gloves to the grocery store? Now, you could wear disposable gloves. However, it's not recommended for several reasons. There is an increased shortage of latex gloves for healthcare workers, and after all, they require them the most. Secondly, such gloves are not designed for routine activities, making them more prone to ripping. Now, if soap and water aren't readily available, use a hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol, and once you get home, wash your hands immediately for 20 seconds. Here's the next question, number three. Can the coronavirus spread through food? Now, we must remember that the transmission of the coronavirus is far more likely to spread through infected respiratory droplets and much less likely through food or surfaces, which is why it's great news that there are currently no reported cases of the virus transmitting through food. What's more, current research is also state that your non-perishable groceries can be stored for up to three days before consumption. Numero cuatro, how can I keep myself safe at the grocery store? Now, due to the pandemic, supermarkets are now much less crowded. Even though the previously mentioned guidelines widely help in decreasing risk, it is still vital to maintain a healthy two meter distance between yourselves, another customer and a member of staff. We must also be mindful when handing payments and it's strongly advised to try and eliminate the use of cash and practice card or contactless payments instead. The best practice is to try and shop for food in the early hours of the day to avoid those busy crowds. Question 5. Should I sanitize my groceries? Absolutely not. It is not safe to use disinfectants such as bleach, chlorine or isopropyl alcohol when washing fruits and vegetables and wipes are just as much of a bad idea. And these products are severely harmful for our digestive systems and unfortunately natural substances such as vinegar are not effective in getting rid of the virus. Our best strategy is to wash produce strenuously in running water. Our next question number six. Do reusable grocery bags spread the virus? I'm sure many of you are familiar with my passion for eco-friendly alternatives. 
Sadly, in such unprecedented circumstances, it is temporarily advised to use single-use grocery bags instead of reusable ones. And once shopping is done, don't forget to discard the single-use bag as a precaution and for added vigilance, wash your hands afterwards. And last but not the least, number seven, how should I prepare meals safely? Now, I think how we prepare food is of utmost importance. We call this the separate, chill, clean and cook method. Fast, separate raw foods such as meat, poultry, fish and other seafood from fresh veggies and fruits to avoid the risk of cross-contamination. We then refrigerate these items below 4 degrees Celsius so they aren't spoiled and remain chilled. And after the first two steps, we clean everything. Our hands for 20 seconds, all fresh produce in running water and each one of our utensils, cutting boards and serving trays with soap and water. And once done, poultry, meat, fish, seafood and eggs should be cooked at 74 degrees Celsius. Now this would kill COVID-19 and all other microbes in food. However, on the other hand, we do not know if COVID-19 can survive refrigerator or freezer temperatures. I hope you find these answers helpful and your mind is put somewhat at ease. As long as you keep the above guidelines in mind, you're eliminating potential risk and helping flatten the curve. Until I see you again, stay home, practice social distancing and remain safe. And of course, it goes without saying, keep washing your hands. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment. I'd love to know what nutrition and diet related topics you want me to dive into next. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Now, if you want to be a super subscriber, turn on that bell so you never miss another video.